Welcome to our journey through time as we revisit The Waltons, the beloved American TV series that captured hearts from 1972 to 1981. Set against the backdrop of the Great Depression and World War II, the show beautifully illustrated the importance of family values and community spirit. With an unforgettable cast that included Richard Thomas, Ralph Waite, Michael Learned, and Ellen Corby, The Waltons became a staple in households across America. Today, we'll take a nostalgic look at the original cast, exploring their diverse career paths and personal journeys since the series ended, and reflecting on the lasting impact the show has had on both their lives and its dedicated fans. Eric Scott, born on October 20, 1958, in Los Angeles, California, is best known for his portrayal of Ben Walton in the iconic television series, The Waltons. He joined the show when he was just 14 years old, capturing the hearts of viewers with his performance as the middle child in the Walton family. Over the years, Scott's character evolved from a mischievous teenager into a responsible adult, reflecting the series' overarching themes of family, love, and resilience during the Great Depression and World War II. Growing up in Los Angeles, Eric was drawn to acting at an early age, encouraged by his family's involvement in the entertainment industry. His father was a film producer, which provided Eric with unique insights into the workings of Hollywood. He landed his first role in The Waltons in 1972, and the show quickly became a staple of American television, running for nine seasons until 1981. In addition to his role on The Waltons, Scott appeared in various television shows and films, including guest spots on series like The Love Boat and Murder, she wrote. However, none of these roles achieved the same level of fame as his character Ben Walton. After The Waltons, Scott found himself navigating the ups and downs of an acting career, which is not uncommon in the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges, Eric Scott's life off-screen has been marked by personal happiness. He married his longtime girlfriend, a private individual whose name he has chosen to keep out of the public eye, in the late 1980s. Together, they have two children, a son and a daughter. The family has maintained a relatively low profile, focusing on their private lives rather than the limelight. Scott's commitment to his family is evident, as he often expresses gratitude for the support and love they provide. As he has grown older, Scott has remained engaged with his fans and the legacy of the Waltons. He frequently attends fan conventions and reunions, where he reflects on his time in the series and the impact it had on his life. His experiences on the show allowed him to forge lasting friendships with his castmates, some of whom he remains close with to this day. He often shares anecdotes from the set, showcasing the camaraderie that developed among the cast during the show's production. Today, Eric Scott is enjoying life as a 65-year-old, finding fulfillment in both his personal and professional endeavors. While he may not be a household name in contemporary Hollywood, his contributions to television history remain significant. He continues to participate in occasional projects, but he has shifted his focus toward enjoying life outside the spotlight. Scott finds joy in pursuing hobbies such as fishing, traveling with his family, and spending quality time with his grandchildren, which has become increasingly important to him as he cherishes his role as a father and grandfather. He has managed to carve out a fulfilling life beyond his childhood fame. Embracing the changes and challenges that come with aging and the passage of time. Judy Norton, born on January 29, 1958, in Santa Monica, California, is best known for her role as Mary Ellen Walton on the beloved television series, The Waltons. At just 14 years old, she brought the character of the oldest daughter of the Walton family to life when the show premiered in 1972. The series, which aired for nine seasons, portrayed the challenges and triumphs of a family living in rural Virginia 
During the Great Depression and World War II, Second Norton's performance as Mary Ellen resonated deeply with audiences, showcasing her talent and establishing her as a prominent figure in American television. Throughout her time on The Waltons, Norton's character evolved significantly. Mary Ellen transformed from a naive young girl into a strong, independent woman, pursuing her dreams of becoming a nurse. Norton's portrayal highlighted the struggles of adolescence, ambition, and the importance of family values, which made her character relatable to many viewers. After the Waltons concluded in 1981, Judy Norton continued her career in acting, but also explored other interests. She appeared in various television shows and movies, including guest roles in The Love Boat, Magnum P.I., and The New Adventures of Old Christine. In addition to acting, Norton has ventured into theater, showcasing her talents on stage in various productions. In her personal life, Norton has faced both joys and challenges. She was previously married to her first husband, actor and producer, James Jim Houghton, from 1976 to 1978. Although the marriage was short-lived, it provided her with valuable experiences in the entertainment industry. Norton later married her second husband, whom she has kept out of the public eye, and they have built a life together, navigating the ups and downs of both personal and professional life. Judy Norton has two children, a son named Devon and a daughter named Sydney. She has expressed pride in her role as a mother and values the importance of family in her life. Throughout her parenting journey, Norton has emphasized the significance of nurturing her children while balancing her career in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Norton has faced challenges typical of the entertainment industry, including the shift in audience preferences and the rise of new television formats. Despite these changes, she has remained resilient and adaptive, continuing to pursue acting and connecting with her audience. At 66 years old, Judy Norton is enjoying her life and career while embracing new opportunities. She remains active in the entertainment industry, participating in interviews, conventions, and special events related to the Waltons. Norton's passion for acting continues to shine, and she often shares her experiences with fans, highlighting the importance of perseverance and creativity in pursuing one's dreams. John Walmsley, best known for his role as Jason Walton on the beloved television series The Waltons, was born on February 6, 1956, in Blackburn, England. He began his career in entertainment at a young age, landing the role of Jason Walton when he was just 16 years old. The show, which aired from 1972 to 1981, was set during the Great Depression and World War II, following the lives of the Walton family in rural Virginia. John's portrayal of the musically talented and sensitive eldest son resonated with audiences and became one of the show's defining characteristics. During his time on The Waltons, he not only acted, but also showcased his musical talents, performing several songs that were featured in the series. This dual ability helped him carve a niche for himself as both an actor and a musician. After The Waltons ended, Walmsley faced a few challenges in the entertainment industry, which is common for many child actors transitioning to adult roles. He appeared in a variety of television shows and films, including The Amazing World of Disney and The Rookies. However, he did not achieve the same level of fame that he had during his time on The Waltons. John continued to pursue his passion for music, forming a band called the John Walmsley Band, which allowed him to explore his musical interests outside of acting. He was married to his first wife, a woman named Anne, although details about their relationship and the exact timeline of their marriage are scarce. The couple had two children together, a daughter named Jess and a son named Benjamin. As of now, he is married to a woman named Lisa, and together they enjoy a quiet life away from the Hollywood spotlight. Throughout his career, 
Walmsley has maintained a close relationship with his former The Waltons co-stars. He often attends reunions and events, where fans and cast members alike celebrate the impact the show had on American television history. The enduring popularity of The Waltons has allowed John to reconnect with fans who cherish the stories and lessons shared through the series. The show has become a staple in American pop culture, and John's character, Jason Walton, remains a cherished part of that legacy. As for his career, John has not only continued to work in music, but has also dabbled in voice acting and production. He has lent his voice to various animated projects and video games, showcasing his versatility as a performer. In addition, he has worked behind the scenes in the television industry, contributing to productions as a producer and director. Now at the age of 68, John Walmsley is in good health and continues to enjoy a fulfilling life. He has embraced the joys of being a grandparent and often shares anecdotes about his family life through social media. His legacy as Jason Walton continues to resonate with fans, and he remains an integral part of the Waltons' legacy. John's ability to transition from child star to a respected musician and producer speaks volumes about his talent and determination. John's journey reflects the complexities and rewards of a life in entertainment, filled with personal triumphs and professional challenges. Cammie Kotler, best known for her role as Elizabeth Walton on the iconic television series The Waltons, was born on June 17, 1965, in Long Beach, California. She began her acting career at a remarkably young age, landing the role of the youngest Walton child when she was just seven years old in 1972. The series, which aired until 1981, depicted the life of a rural family during the Great Depression and World War II, capturing the hearts of audiences with its warmth and sincerity. Growing up in Southern California, Kami was drawn to the arts from an early age. Her early experiences on the Waltons not only provided her with fame, but also instilled in her a deep appreciation for storytelling and character development. Throughout the series, Elizabeth was portrayed as a sweet and inquisitive child, and Kami's performances resonated with viewers, helping to cement her place in television history. After the Waltons ended, Kami faced the typical challenges that many child actors encounter as they transition into adulthood. While she appeared in various television shows and films, including guest spots on series like The Love Boat and The Wonder Years, she chose to take a step back from the limelight to focus on her education. Kami attended the University of California, Berkeley, where she earned a degree in history. Her academic pursuits allowed her to explore her interests beyond acting and provided her with a strong foundation for her future endeavors. In her personal life, Kami has experienced both love and family. She married her husband, a fellow educator named Keith, and together they have two children. The couple has worked hard to create a balanced life, with an emphasis on family and education. Kami has expressed that being a mother has been one of the most fulfilling aspects of her life, and she values the time spent with her children, instilling in them the same values of curiosity and learning that she cherishes. As she entered her 30s, Kami Kotler gradually returned to the entertainment industry, finding new ways to engage with her passion for storytelling. She began working as an educator and has held various roles within the academic community. Her experiences on the Waltons influenced her teaching philosophy, and she has often drawn on her background in the arts to inspire her students. Kami has been active in speaking engagements and reunions with her former The Waltons cast members, celebrating the legacy of the show and its impact on American culture. In recent years, she has taken part in various The Waltons reunions and retrospectives, often sharing fond memories of her time on the show and how it shaped her life. Now at the age of 59, Kami is enjoying life with her family and friends. She maintains a strong connection to her roots in acting, even while pursuing her passion for education. 
Her journey reflects the challenges and rewards of navigating life in the public eye while prioritizing personal fulfillment and family values. Mary Beth McDonough, born on May 4, 1961, in Van Nuys, California, is best known for her role as Erin Walton on the iconic television series The Waltons. She began her career in the entertainment industry at a young age, landing the role of Erin when she was just 11 years old. The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, became a beloved family drama, depicting the life of the Walton family during the Great Depression and World War II. McDonough's portrayal of Erin, the only daughter among five siblings, earned her acclaim and a special place in the hearts of viewers. As Erin Walton, McDonough exhibited a mix of youthful innocence and the challenges of growing up in a large family. After the Waltons, McDonough continued to work in television and film. She appeared in various series, including guest roles in popular shows such as The Love Boat, Magnum P.I., and The Twilight Zone. In the 1980s, she took a step back from acting to focus on her personal life, but returned to the screen in the 1990s. McDonough starred in movies like The Wrong Woman and had recurring roles on series such as E.R. and The New Adventures of Old Christine. Her versatility as an actress allowed her to explore various genres, showcasing her talent beyond her early role in The Waltons. She married her husband, actor and writer, Michael McDonough, in 1991. Their marriage has been a source of happiness for her, and they have navigated the ups and downs of life together. The couple has two children, a son named Jonathan and a daughter named Megan. McDonough has often spoken about the importance of family and how her experiences as a mother have enriched her life. Throughout her career, McDonough has faced various challenges, including navigating the industry's changes and the evolving nature of television. She has often reflected on the impact of The Waltons and how it shaped her as an actress and a person. The show's values of family, love, and perseverance continue to resonate with her, and she has maintained a connection with her co-stars, many of whom have become lifelong friends. Currently, at 63 years old, Mary Beth McDonough is enjoying a peaceful life. She has embraced her role as a mother and continues to pursue her passion for acting. In recent years, she has participated in various reunion projects related to the Waltons, reconnecting with fans and reflecting on the show's lasting legacy. McDonough is active on social media where she shares glimpses of her life and engages with her followers, often reminiscing about her time on the Waltons and the lessons learned from that period. McDonough's contributions to the entertainment industry have solidified her legacy as a talented actress, and her personal journey reflects a commitment to family and creativity. Despite the ups and downs of her career, she has remained a beloved figure in the hearts of fans, continuing to embody the spirit of Erin Walton while forging her own path in the industry. Ralph Waite, born on June 22, 1928, in White Plains, New York, was a celebrated American actor, director, and writer best known for his iconic role as John Walton, Sr. on the beloved television series The Waltons. At the age of 44, he stepped into the role in 1972, bringing to life the patriarch of the Walton family, whose values of hard work, compassion, and family unity resonated with audiences across the nation. The series, set during the Great Depression and World War II, depicted the struggles and triumphs of a rural family, and Waite's portrayal of John Walton was central to its heartwarming narrative. Waite's performance as the wise and loving father showcased his remarkable ability to convey warmth and strength. His work on the Waltons earned him critical acclaim and a devoted fan base, helping the series become a staple of American television throughout its nine seasons until its conclusion in 1981. Before his rise to fame on the Waltons, Waite had a diverse career in the arts, 
He studied at the University of New Mexico and later graduated from Columbia University. His early career included work as a social worker, which influenced his empathetic portrayal of characters. Waite also acted in various theater productions and made guest appearances on television shows, establishing himself as a talented actor with a strong stage presence. Beyond acting, he ventured into directing and writing, showcasing his creativity and dedication to storytelling. In his personal life, Ralph Waite faced both triumphs and hardships. He was married twice. His first marriage to actress and singer Beverly Waite lasted from 1951 until their divorce in 1969. The couple had three children together, who have largely stayed out of the public eye. Waite later married actress and producer Linda East in 1975, but their marriage ended in divorce as well. Despite the challenges in his personal life, Waite remained committed to his craft and continued to work in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Waite experienced both highs and lows. He appeared in various films and television shows, including notable roles in Cool Hand Luke and The Bodyguard, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. Waitey was also an advocate for social issues, often using his platform to speak on topics such as poverty and mental health. Sadly, Ralph Waite passed away on February 13, 2014, at the age of 85, leaving behind a rich legacy in film and television. His death was met with an outpouring of grief from fans and colleagues alike, who remembered him not only for his performances, but also for his kindness and generosity. Many tributes celebrated his contributions to the arts and the profound impact he had on audiences through his portrayal of John Walton Sr. David W. Harper was born on October 4, 1961, in Abilene, Texas. He is widely recognized for his role as Jim Bob Walton on the beloved television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972. Harper stepped into this iconic role at the tender age of 11, quickly capturing the affection of audiences with his portrayal of the youngest Walton son. His character represented youthful curiosity, dreams, and the struggles of growing up during the Great Depression, a period that the series so poignantly depicted. Growing up in Texas, Harper's early life was rooted in a supportive family that encouraged his interests in acting. He began his career in entertainment by participating in local theater productions, which helped hone his craft and prepare him for the big screen. His breakout role in The Waltons catapulted him into the spotlight, and he remained with the show throughout its successful run. Following the conclusion of The Waltons, David Harper faced the common challenge many child actors encounter, transitioning into adult roles. He made guest appearances on various television shows, including The Love Boat and Murder, she wrote, but none of these roles achieved the same level of recognition as Jim Bob Walton. Despite the difficulties of finding consistent work in Hollywood, Harper remained dedicated to his craft and explored other avenues within the entertainment industry, including writing and producing. In addition to his professional journey, Harper has also found happiness in his personal life. He married his college sweetheart, whose name has been kept private, and together they have two children. David often speaks fondly of his family, emphasizing the importance of nurturing relationships and creating a loving environment for his children. He has described his marriage as a source of strength and support, and he is grateful for the shared experiences that have brought them closer together. At 63 years old, David Harper continues to enjoy life outside the intense pressures of Hollywood. He remains involved in the entertainment industry, but prefers to keep a lower profile than in his youth. Harper participates in occasional fan conventions and reunions, where he fondly recalls his time on the Waltons and the lessons he learned throughout the show's production. He appreciates the lasting legacy of the series and is proud to have been part of a project that resonated with so many viewers. Joe Conley, who played the beloved character Ike Godsey 
on the long-running television series The Waltons, was born on March 3, 1928, in Buffalo, New York. Conley was 44 years old when he took on the role of the local storekeeper in the fictional community of Walton's Mountain, where the series depicted the trials and tribulations of a family during the Great Depression and World War II. His character, Ike, was known for his warmth, humor, and close ties to the Walton family, becoming a staple in the lives of both the characters and the audience. Conley grew up in a family that valued the arts, which sparked his interest in acting from an early age. He began his career in the entertainment industry after serving in the United States Army during World War II. Following his military service, he pursued acting, initially appearing in various theater productions. His big break came when he was cast in The Waltons, where he quickly became a fan favorite due to his endearing portrayal of Ike Godsey. Throughout the series, Joe Conley showcased his comedic timing and dramatic skills, contributing significantly to the show's charm. His character not only owned the local general store, but also had a loving relationship with his wife, Corabeth, played by actress Ronnie Claire Edwards. Together, they provided a blend of humor and tenderness, often depicting the challenges of marriage and community life. The relationship between Ike and Corabeth resonated with viewers, making them one of the more memorable couples on the show. After The Waltons ended in 1981, Conley continued to act, making guest appearances on various television shows, including Murder, She Wrote, and The Love Boat. In his personal life, Joe Conley was married to his wife, Louise, for over 60 years. The couple had three children together, including a daughter named Jennifer and two sons, Michael and Patrick. Family was very important to Conley, and he often spoke fondly of the joy and pride he felt as a husband and father. He enjoyed a close-knit family life, and his love for his wife and children was evident in the way he spoke about them. Joe Conley was known for his kind and approachable demeanor, which endeared him to fans and colleagues alike. He often attended reunions and conventions related to the Waltons, where he shared stories from his time on the show and connected with fans who cherished the series. Sadly, Joe Conley passed away on July 7, 2013, at the age of 85, after a long battle with health issues. His death was deeply felt in the entertainment community, particularly among his fellow The Waltons cast members and fans. The impact of his work on the series endures, as The Waltons remains a beloved part of American television history. And Ike Godsey is remembered as a character who embodied the spirit of kindness and community. Who is your favorite character in The Waltons? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. As always, don't forget to show your affection. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to see more, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. I'm so excited to create more wonderful memories with you all. Thank you very much, and don't leave. See you again as soon as possible.